Hey guys, today we're going to explore and use Adobe Express, former Adobe Spark. They just changed the name recently this week and they also update this app greatly. Now it's a great tool for casual graphic designers, something very, very similar to Canva, but straight from Adobe, the same software developer that give us Photoshop and Illustrator. All right, so let me just log in and show you how it looks inside. You can use this software for free. You just need to create a free Adobe ID. You don't need to have any Adobe products to do that. And here I am on the new dashboard, redesigned dashboard. So this program was called previously Adobe Spark and now they give it a huge update, including new templates, new tools, tons of contents like elements and stock photos for you to use. It's now it's very, very similar to Canva. So we can use it to create flyers, posters, Facebook posts. Let's explore, let's say poster template like this. I can just click plus button here and it will take me to this new editor. First thing you can do, you can select a template. So you don't need to start from blank page. That's really cool. So you can select a template And here's the template from the app itself. I can modify this as I want. If I click on the element, like this text, on the right side, I got properties of that. I can edit text, change the style, color, or even add simple effects like shadows or outline. So that's all possible here. This is project, layer-based project. So you can see all of your layers are here. I got nine new layers. I can click on that to expand them. All pictures, all text, shapes, everything is on separate layers. We can change the order of the layers. We can click each layer separately and change the properties over here. Let's try this. And this way I can change the color of it very fast. That's really neat. More than that, I can use the text tool to add new text. I don't need to depend only on the template. I can add new text. I can just drag and drop elements here. I can add text. We can select pictures and there are hundreds of free stock photos for us to use. Or we can upload our photos as well, this upload button. Same for icons. So we got vector icons. If you add icon like this, you will have control. You can change the color of it because it's vector based. That's nice. Of course, you can scale elements down. You can rotate them. No problem with that. What, what else is here? Design assets. So we got little PNG. So we got little graphics with transparent backgrounds we can use for a project. That's a great help for all casual designers out there. You don't need to do everything from scratch. You can use someone else's assets here. And most of them, many of them are free to use. You can see this one over here got this little crown icon on it means this is the premium asset for premium users. But the, then this one or this one is totally free for us. So that's cool. It's background tool. And there is some brand, there are some also branding options here, logos from premium users. So as you can see, if you ever use Canva, you can see how similar it is and how powerful it can be. All right, that was just a quick look. It's not why we are here today. Today we want to explore something else. I am going back to my dashboard by clicking the icon at the top left corner. I'm back here. Today we want to explore some quick actions. That's totally new addition to this program. All right, so they just add this this week. Very interesting. So there are some quick actions like removing background, converting to GIF, video to GIF, resizing video. That's very interesting. Resizing image, standard, merging two videos together, changing the speed of the video, trimming video. That's maybe very handy. You don't need a premium software to do that. You can just use Adobe Express now to trim the video or crop the video. That's nice. So there are multiple multiple actions here and two are reserved for premium users. They're all around PDF documents, but everything else is free to use. So let's explore the first one today. We, today we're going to use this one, remove background in order to get rid of the background from pictures. I prepare four pictures that we're going to try 
with this software. I didn't try them before, so you and me will both see the real result of this app. All right. They mentioned that remove background feature is powered by Photoshop. That's cool. We can use some Photoshop for free within Adobe Express. So let me just drag and drop my images. As I mentioned, I got four images of different, in different styles with different backgrounds. So let's drop the first one. Simple drag and drop. No loading bar here. So let me try again. Drag and drop. Nothing happened once more. Maybe this is due to my browser using Safari. So let's click here, browse on your device instead. And even though I browse from my device, nothing happened. So I don't know what's going on here. Let's try again, remove background. I will drop different image. And this one is loading correctly. So that's cool. Okay, I would say it's quite impressive result for this free software. That's nice. I can customize it. Let's see how the customization customization screen look like here. All right, seems like there's not much to control in terms of removing backgrounds. We can add some extra filter enhancements, changing colors. Okay, I see. All right, so nothing to do with the actual quick action itself. All right, that was the first picture. Let's go back and try this feature again. Remove background. It's over here, the first feature. And let me try to add this first photo that it failed for the, in the first try. So I'll drag and drop this one. And again, nothing. I wonder why. How about the next picture? The next one is loading correctly. Maybe there's some strange character in the name that this program cannot process correctly. Hmm, I wonder. All right, so I will try to download this picture now. Seems like it's not ready yet. I cannot click download button. All right, it doesn't work. All right, guys, I think I'm going to log in into my account using Chrome web browser so we can compare that all of those troubles are because of the Safari or because of the software itself. All right, I'm back here on Adobe Creative Cloud Express, former Adobe Spark, this time using Google Chrome web browser. So. Let's try this quick action again. Remove background. And I'm going to drop the first image that didn't work last time. So image dimension are invalid. All right, so this image is just simply too big. I wonder why Safari didn't give me the feedback error. Now we know this image is just simply too big. That was our problem. All right, how about this image? Wow, very nice effect. I'm quite surprised. So, so far, our only problem was we tried to upload too big image. So you need to upload something smaller than 6,000 pixels. All right, let's try to download this. Download. All right, no problem here. They don't want us to pay or anything like that. It's free feature. I will just take a look on this image on my hard drive. All right, here's the image I was able to download from the 
Adobe Express and it's quite good for the automatic background remove is really decent I would say not bad all right there's one more picture I prepare here I hope this one is not too big because I really want to test the last one is like the biggest challenge for this app let's simply drag and drop this one all right seems like it's working i wonder that it can handle the normal picture like this with very natural background many tiny objects hair grass all right you can see there are some troubles but he was able to i guess remove the grass from this area but also removing the part of the of the animal as well but I would say the edge of of it is, is not that bad. I was afraid it will completely cut the fur hair, but it tried to recreate some kind of texture here. So that's not completely terrible. Not perfect, not as you will do it yourself, but it's acceptable, especially for casual designers. This program is aimed towards people that actually don't have that much skill. They don't want to spend months learning about software, then investing money buying the software. This is free program. So this is aimed towards casual designers, educators, people that use graphics occasionally. I would say it's huge improvement comparing to Adobe Spark. Very, very nice update and I'm going to use it in the future. I'm sure about that. I really like how you can remove the background quickly and how you can just use the template to kick off your project especially useful for less experienced users they don't need to focus on thousands of tools available from the start they just can work with template first and learn about some principle of design very nice program and seems like this remove background feature is quite solid works a little bit better on google chrome mainly because i received this feedback Right, I tried to upload this first picture and I got the feedback that this picture is too big. On Safari, nothing happened, so I really don't know what's going on. On Chrome, I got this feedback, so that's better here. Let's hope they can fix that on Safari or maybe it's on my side and maybe I didn't allow some pop-ups to show or something like that. All right, guys, I encourage you to go and check by yourself Adobe Creative Cloud Express is the new name of Adobe Spark and the program is totally renewed. A huge update just dropped this week, so I, I think it's worth checking out.